What's up guys, Gun for Newbies back here and today I wanted to do a quality uh, video on the brand new MMP Carry Comp full size. Okay, so one thing that's cool and you might have noticed this already is this one actually is for the competitor grip, uh, grip module or I guess frame for the uh, metal series of the MMP uh, 2.0s. So very, very cool how you're finally able to switch some stuff around. I know there was some uh, rumors that you would be able to switch around the frames from metal to the polymer, but I'm not entirely sure that one's true. But then again, these are the only MMPs currently that I have, so I wasn't able to test out anything uh, other than that. So this is originally the frame that comes on this guy, but since this one comes with a gunmetal top, uh, or I guess slide, I just like the uh, interchangeability there, so I went ahead and matched the frame, you know, the kind of the the darker frame to the lighter frame up top. In terms of the darker frame here to go to the um, black slide as well, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, and as you see, they're pretty identical. Now, the main differences here are going to be slide and barrel port already from the factory that I sent out. So this one actually comes with the slide ports, but I sent the barrel out to get the ports and the actual, um, the barrel. So um, pretty, pretty nice way that they did it. And you can see the way that they did it. They actually chamfered it, so these shoot straight up. This one shoots straight up, obviously, as well, but this one's actually directly on top. So that's a pretty good, uh, cool change, and ergonomically, and also just, uh, I forget what the actual terminology is, but scientifically, this is going to be your best bet. So this is something that is starting to become more popular. I think Monsoon Tactical was like one of the first ones with, um, you know, obviously, the, the idea of porting the top of the the slide there and moving the sight back so pretty cool that it came to be actually manufactured on a you know production style just off, straight off the assembly line that's what we're getting which is really really cool now another thing that you might have seen is on the last video i did the hellcat pro carry comp video and that one kind of does that but that has a lot deeper of a cut now i'm starting to think after looking further into this they didn't go as deep on this one because they wanted it to cycle all ammunition correctly because they want it to be very reliable so um all in all for quality on this gun it is absolutely amazing it comes with an awesome trigger um it's going to come with some awesome slide duration the sights are really really nice it's got a blacked out rear u um titrium front um, I believe yellow optic uh, glow in the night uh, glow in the dark night sight, which is really really awesome. Um, it's going to have Picatinny rail, which obviously these frames are exactly the same, um, but it's just a really really well put together gun. It also has really awesome texture. I really like that it's about 28 ounces. I think it's like 28.1 ounce, and the gun is just a me you know immensely shoots really well. Now this one doesn't have as significant of a pour as the this one does considering this one has technically six but i will tell you shooting these two the only thing you can tell is that one's a five inch and one's a four inch so and what i mean by that is the recoil patterns a little bit differently but they both shoot about identical in terms of how soft they shoot so um with that all being said i really don't see you know i really really like this setup but with having this one um, and I, I do like the size on this one. I think I, you know, with enough practice, this one could be a little bit more accurate, but I mean, all in all, I mean, they're very, very close to the same thing. And more importantly, I mean, the fact that this one, you can use this and straight out of, you know, just order it and just pick it up and start shooting right away. This would be a perfect concealed carry gun, competition gun. Um, and granted, I mean, if you're running a ported gun for competition, you're probably going to be running up against a modded 2011s, which that would be hard to beat. But this one comes with a fantastic trigger. This is one of the best triggers out of a striker fire gun um, that also has enough reliability for me personally to carry. Now, I know a lot of people are going to have uh, their hearsays about, you know, and opinions about canic and whatnot but i mean for me i've just had great luck with glock i've had great luck with sigs um you know reliability wise um i've had great lugs with uh smith and wesson so i i personally um don't feel comfortable carrying anything but that like for a you know duty pistol or something like that um per se like a concealed carry gun 
Um, now I don't conceal carry this one. I conceal carry my actual uh, Springfield Hellcat Pro, but you know that's just strictly due to size. If uh, you know, it's really cold out in the winter. I absolutely 100% would, would carry this one. So uh, to summarize this up, I've done about 325 rounds through this gun so far. Completely flawless. No issues whatsoever. Um, and I actually moved the slide over to from the competitor. Uh, so it's the full upper I changed. I changed the full upper from the actual... Uh, you know, metal carry over to the competitor. So the actual lower trigger trigger mechanism, all that on this one has right around a thousand rounds. And then the upper on it obviously has 325. Um, however, it is a spring, uh, uh, Smith and Wesson product. So I'm sure it's going to be more than fine. I, again, haven't had any issues with it. It's been super reliable. I'm just really, really happy with the way that it performs and mainly just, you know, the features that you're getting the great texture, you get awesome sights. It's got porting from the factory, everything like that. And the gun MSRP is right around $999. So, um, depending on what variation you pick, I mean, it might be 949, but I, I want to say it's 999 either way, uh, awesome gun and you don't have to do anything to it other than just buy some extra mags. Um, and also, uh, get a, uh, really really nothing i mean i chose to get the magwell just because i like the magwell how it looks and also like i don't really i'm not a too big of a fan of the actual little tool that it gives you but so i i bought that but um, you really don't need a light uh, again that's for preference i mean you can literally go out get a holster some extra mags and you're ready to go like literally it's an awesome gun i haven't found anything other than just you know really really just after repetition with it it fires amazing i love the trigger so we'll do some uh, trigger pull for you guys here okay so, okay, so really you have the beginning, you're going to pull back, you know, right about there, and then you start to get a little bit of creep, and then you're going to have a wall, and then it breaks. And then the reset, which for me, reset, um, you know, is bigger than take up. I don't really care about the take up, but I do care about the reset because I'm shooting. That's what I care about. You just let off a little bit, and then it resets. And then you're right back here. And then you got creep and then your wall and then boom. So when you're shooting fast, it's really quick, obviously. So, and I didn't, I, I, uh, full disclosure already tried to make this video and then had some issues. So that's why I did not safety check it because I already know they're uh, safe and uh, I don't even have any magazine or ammunition out here. And this one doesn't even have a magazine inserted, but doesn't mean it can't shoot without a magazine, but I've already safety checked them several times. So I kind of skipped that, but nevertheless, um, you know, it is what it is all in all. I will tell you, because uh, essentially these are really the, the two same guns, right? So um, I will tell you, quality-wise, they're amazing. The only thing that I've had some gripe about, and it's just my OCD thing, you probably won't care, is the front back strap has some wiggle in it. This one had it, and I epoxied it over a year ago. Haven't had any uh, issues since. Um, but this one, you can definitely hear it. So, um, again, not the end of the world, but that's really the only thing I can knock this gun. Again, I'm trying to find anything wrong with it, but I love, absolutely love this gun. Also, I love the cut. That makes it look kind of like, a, like the, the Terran Tactical Pit Piper cut. I love that. Um, um, I mean, it's just a great-looking gun. It has amazing texture, awesome trigger, awesome sights, awesome slide serrations. Um, it's just very, very good. And magazines are also another thing. I mean, you can find them uh, on sale sometimes for as low as 35 bucks. I mean, this would be a great gun for you to go to the range constantly, buy some extra magazines, learn how to, you know, effectively shoot because it's got a great trigger. Uh, the reliability is there. You're going to have great uh, warranty with it. Um, and then more importantly, it is super reliable and, you know, you just get all these benefits and packages and it's affordable. Like everyone can virtually, I mean, you're spending even for a bare bones, let's say you go out and get a bare bones Glock MLS, you don't have uh, a great trigger in that. You don't have good sights. You don't have relatively every, anything. It just gives you, um, you know, if you buy an MLS Glock, you're 600 some bucks in and, you know, that's 
kind of what it is. I mean, you get, I guess, three magazines, but that's really it. I mean, I think that this one, just with all it can- comes with, um, it's just great. And it goes either way. I mean, you can run out and get a M18 and you're not going to get the best trigger out of the box. You're not going to get um, the best sights out of the box, although they will be steel and they will be better than what Glock offers you. But, um, you know, I think that really this is just an awesome package. It's already slide cut. It already comes with op- optic plates in the in the box, if I'm not mistaken. I know my competitor did. I didn't look at the optic plates for, for this guy, but I, I want to say it does. But again, if it doesn't, then don't hold me to it. But Either way, um, just an amazing, amazing option, and I really think that quality-wise, they hit it right out of the park. Um, keep in t- uh, you know, stay tuned. We're going to uh, do some range footage. We're going to compare this to the M18 ported that I have, just strictly because it is slide and barrel ports, so it's not like a um, ex- uh, you know a slide comp or anything or slide comp or a barrel actual barrel comp where it's like at the end of the barrel where you put it on and have to to keep it on there. Um, and we're going to see how these two do. Um, I have not shot. Them them side by side but i will say i'm very impressed with this one i want to say this one's going to definitely beat the other one by far um, but nevertheless some great options and i hope you guys really enjoyed this this video and uh, we're going to do a side by side comparison of slide ports vo- versus barrel and slide ports i have another uh, that's for next week i was going to put that one up this week but that one's got a lot of editing that i have to do i also brought home the target so i could talk about some of the groups so we're going to change that for next week um, and kind of put this one in there, especially because this one's brand new and everybody seems to be searching for this one. So um, if you want to follow the progress of this one, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll keep the content coming for this one. But thank you so much for watching.